Is Korean splitting into two different languages? Let's talk about it. North and South Korea have been divided for decades, and so their people haven't really had any contact with each other. Divisions like this cause languages to drift apart. Even before the war, the North and the South had different accents, but now research is showing that that difference is getting even bigger. But this can be a tricky topic since North Korea doesn't exactly let in a ton of Western researchers to document their language. Most of what we know about the North Korean language comes from people that have gotten out of North Korea and the propaganda that North Korea puts out. With that said, let's dig in. South Korean has a ton of loan words from English due to American influence and the internet, but as you might guess, North Korean doesn't have any of that. Instead, North Korean has loanwords from Russian and Mandarin Chinese, but not nearly as many. The propaganda uses this to say that the language in North Korea is more pure to historical Korean and therefore better. But that's a load of nonsense. Languages always change. That's one of the fundamental facts of language. Given all that, a North and South Korean can understand each other pretty well. They just have to pick their words carefully. North and South Koreans can immediately tell when someone's from the other side of the border based on the words that they use. If Korea stays divided for another century or two, then they might become two completely different languages. But for now, the difference is more like British versus American English. Hope you found this interesting and like and follow for more language.